Hi, and welcome to my course, Composer PHP Dependency Manager. My name is Terry, and I will be guiding you through this course. So what is Composer? Composer is simply a tool that is used to manage dependencies in PHP. Composer was greatly inspired by a tool such as NPM and Ruby Bundler. It is used in all modern PHP frameworks such as Symfony, Cake PHP, and Laravel. And Composer today in PHP community is one of the most highly recommended tools that solves fundamental issues in many web projects. This is primarily because many PHP packages are built on top of other well-known PHP packages. A common example are Symfony components which form the bedrock for many PHP frameworks such as Laravel. By using Composer, developers are able to reuse stable PHP libraries and Composer will automatically handle dependency resolutions. So when you install a package, it will automatically install all of the required dependencies for you. You don't have to do anything. So awesome. Why should you learn Composer? This is because Composer allows you to easily integrate libraries from vendors such as AWS, Stripes, Angolia, Pusha and so many more into your project without wasting time. Another reason why you should learn Composer is because it allows you to easily use packages that solve common problem in your project. So let's say you need a package for validation in PHP. All you need to do is search for validation in packages.org and then you are good to go. You need a package to handle dates in your project. All you need to do is search for carbon in packages and then you are good to go. Composer makes everything smooth and painless. Another reason why you may want to learn Composer is because it automatically resolves dependencies for you. So you have five packages that your project depends upon. Composer will automatically resolve all this dependency for you as long as you are installing them using Composer. Another reason why you want to learn Composer is to take advantage of the auto-loading feature that Composer provides to allow you to auto-load classes and files in your project. Very useful. So what are you going to learn in this series? You're going to first start by learning how to install Composer in your computer. We'll be showing you how to install on Windows and on Mac. And then next, you're going to learn how to use some of the basic commands that comes along with Composer. And then after you've learned a few of the commands, then we are going to go ahead and install some packages with Composer and actually use them in our project. After we have done that, you're going to learn how to update packages that were installed using Composer. And then you are actually going to use Composer auto-loading feature in your own project. When we are done with this, then you are going to create your own package and then upload it to packages.org so that other developers can actually use your own package in their project. So what do you need to know in order to take this course? First of all, you need to have PHP development environment running on your computer. You need to have some basic understanding of PHP programming language. And then if you have some knowledge of object-oriented programming, that would be great, but it's not required to follow along in this course. Are you ready to take your PHP skills to the next level? Sign up now and I'll see you in the course.